This is the manifold that I made. I painted it in high temperature um, spray paint. It can stand up to like 500 degrees, so that should be all right. Uh, that's just so it won't rust. I still need to pull the tape off, so. Pretty good, so that's where the gasket will sit, so that's why that part is masked off. And same on this side here. There you go, so let me mount this under the engine. Then we can mount the turbo onto it, and let's see how she runs. All right, so I have my gasket right here. I'm just gonna throw that down on top. And then I have my piece here with my three bolts. So let me get the nuts off of here. And then we're gonna get this first one on. Sorry if my hands are in the way. Kinda need to see what I'm doing. Burn them, wow, that's warm. Alright, that is one bolt in. We're gonna get the other two on and then we're gonna snug everything down. Bolt, washer, hot, 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 nut. Finger tighten that one. And then we're gonna do the same for this one right here. Off, drop the bolt through, get the washer on there. Grab the nut that I just dropped. Make sure to block the camera with my hands. And tighten that up. And then we're gonna grab our 10 mil. And we're just gonna snug everything up. I'm just gonna go pretty snug, nice and tight, nothing crazy. But I do wanna make sure that these won't rattle loose because there is a lot of vibration that these are going to be dealing with. Now, if your top nut keeps spinning, you're gonna have to grab another wrench. So we'll do that real quick. So now we can get it from the top. And the bottom, snug this one down. Nice, nice. And once this is all snug down, I can throw the turbo on top, just pull it up. And it's not gonna be building any boost because I haven't made the intake manifold yet, but we can at least hear the turbo spin. And I don't have the oiling system yet, I'm waiting for a pump to come in the mail. But once that comes, I should be able to get it. So that, that's all set. I'm not gonna put the gasket on here yet because it is a, um, it's based off of pressure fit. So it's a one-time use, like I can't take it back off. So I'm just gonna mount the turbo directly on here. There's gonna be some leakage, but I only have one gasket and I don't wanna buy another. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is the turbo here. It's a VZ21 turbo. It's made for dirt, uh, motorcycles, dirt bikes, kind of up to hundred horsepower. Uh, it's not made for this, that's why I made the adapter. I'm gonna grab these three bolts and I'm gonna do the back one first because that is the easiest. So we're just gonna put that up there and just kinda get a couple threads in there so they catch like that. And then we're gonna get the next one in there might help if you raise it up a bit. This is the most precarious part, getting all the, there you go. Tighten that up a bit. Just, and then we're gonna grab the third one. We're gonna get that into place. There it is. Now that those are all. Drop it back down and we can tighten them all up. Finger tight and then we'll hit it with a wrench. So they are 10 mil. And then I'm just gonna snug these all down. Nothing crazy, but I do want somewhat of a seal. There we go. Now, let's get some oil in the turbo. Let's start it up. So the oil is gonna go in right here. I'm just gonna place oil in it and just run it for a short period of time because I don't have an oil flow to keep it clean, 
and keep lubricating it so I'm not going to run it too long but I do want to hear it so let me go do that. I'm probably going to put a little bit of duct tape on the oil drain just to keep the oil from flowing out so that way there's still oil in there and then I'll fill it up and let's start it.